What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video today. We'll be going over the patch notes for the February update, which is today, February 27th of Destiny 2. I'll be reading all the stuff below, but I also have some footage of some stuff that I've already gotten. I've already completed the Nightfall uh, for this week, and I got a cool emblem, and I'll be able to show all, all that stuff. But let's just basically get into it right here. So it's Destiny Update 1.1.3, the one about Nightfall scoring. So obviously, Nightfall Strike scoring, both Normal and Prestige Nightfall now have scoring. Enemy kills and orb generation will occur points. Highest set scores will display on each Nightfall's respective emblem. Scores above a target value will enable the Nightfall Aura and a Fire Team Vanguard token bonus. Total team score will be displayed at the end of the nightfall in the pgcr i don't i i really don't know what that is but you will be able to find uh, your total team score at the end of the nightfall strike nightfall challenge cards the prestige nightfall challenge card allows players to select modifiers for the prestige nightfall that affect gameplay and score multipliers players can select active elemental modifiers to boost on outgoing and incoming damage players can opt into a power handicap that will lower their character power level in the prestige nightfall but raise the score multiplier extinguish is always on when applying the nightfall challenge card if the full fire team wipes in the respawning restricted area, the fire team will be returned to orbit and you'll have to try again. Cards cannot be modified once the activity has been launched. These cards will drop for DLC owners in the normal and prestige nightfall. The fire team leader's card is applied to the entire team when launching the prestige nightfall. Emblem variants. So you have the crucible emblems, you have victorious veteran tracks, your lifetime crucible kills and how many of each class you've defeated victorious veteran has six variants the first three variants are class specific the last three are unlocked after defeating 1000 of the class in pvp the symbol can be purchased from shacks after opening 10 faction packages basically uh, you'll be able to see it on screen it just allows you to change up the emblem whether you want to show that you defeated a thousand hunters or a thousand warlocks or a thousand titans or anything like that i'll allow you to show that destination emblems lost sector emblems have been changed into destination emblems that track lost sectors found region chests open and ghost scans discovered note that mercury only checks law sectors and region chests each destination emblem has four variants in addition to the default emblem each variant has a chance to drop from chest in that destination for players who did not have the respective law sector emblems they may purchase the new destination emblems from the respective vendors after opening 10 faction packages nightfall emblems so i have the new nightfall one so the new nightfall emblems exist for each individual nightfall strike and track your high score in that strike each strike emblem has three variants in addition to the default emblem these variants have a chance to drop when you hit a certain score tier and complete the nightfall auras so raid emblem glory to the emperor tracks total leviathan clears on prestige difficulty and unlocks the orange prestige raid or if you complete a prestige difficulty raid activity in the last 14 days the trials emblem you are worthy tracks the number of flawless tickets and unlocks the blue trials or if you've gone flawless in the last 14 days and the nightfall emblems uh, awarded from each completing and the Nightfall emblems awarded from completing each Nightfall strike track your high score in the respective Nightfall and unlock an aura if your high score in that strike is higher than the global target score. Uh, generally, they have a lot of stuff, but there's only a few things I want to go over in here. So fire team members now appear on the destination map. So you, if you are in a fire team, you will be able to follow uh, basically where your teammates are in a certain area, which is really cool. Damage reduction granted by Ar Armor Masterworks while a super ability is active has been increased from 3 to 5% per armor piece, so now you can do 25% uh, extra armor while you are in your super. You can read through the rest of them, but I feel like the other ones aren't important. But yeah, those are basically the things uh, in the patch notes this time around. All right, guys, you want to know how to support me? There'll be a link below to say best way to support me. I'll just take it to like a four minute video. It's nothing crazy. It's not Patreon or anything like that. Uh, if you go check it out, you'll see that you actually get a lot more out of it than I do. And I want to create an inclusive community where everybody can have access to the stuff in the video and whatnot. And basically after the video, if you check it out, awesome. I appreciate you. But if you don't, you can always like videos, subscribe to the channel, share videos, and turn on the notification bell if you mean know if I want to drop some new content on the channel. Lastly, just comment what you guys want to see below. I'm making content for you. So literally, whatever you guys want to see, I will try to make content on it. Like I'm trying to do, trying to get into the rhythm of doing these patch notes and the this week at bungee posts and stuff like that so i'm going to try to do those things often uh if you think i can improve anything on my videos as well just definitely let me know in the comment section below but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time